What's up, y'all? It is Akila and the B back at it with the T, and I'm here again with yet another video. Today's video is going to be a Google's Week install by my good sister Paris. I have been mentioning her Instagram lately on the last few videos. She is the owner of Wig LLC and Noel's Niche. Both Instagram links will be down below, and let's just get right into the video. So right now, she's just braiding down my hair. Um, my hair has grown a lot over the last year. And I'm very, very proud of my hair. It's starting to get itself together. I had to go through a lot of products to figure out which ones work for me the best. But yeah, I'm not tender headed. <laughs> so the braid down doesn't hurt at all. Um, my boyfriend actually likes to call me kawaii whenever I have my cornrows in. So this is the kawaii look. Paris actually lives back at home, so when she called me and told me she was coming to Greensboro for a few days and was going to do hair, I was like, please, come do my hair, because girl, girl, the bang, it was time to, it was time to put the bang away, so she came through, and there's just that on that, so right now she's um, putting a little bit of serum on my edges to push those back so that it doesn't get in the way of the wig cap, even though it is a glueless install, I still like to use wig caps on my head. Um, I just say hey, it helps it blend in better. And from there, um, she's going to spray it, blow dry it, cut it, the use. So after blow drying the wig cap, she puts foundation on it. And for me, she uses dark foundation because my skin is two toned on my face. Um, a lot of people don't know, but my birthmark is across my face. It goes from my ear all the way across my face to the other side of my ear. <laughs> so um, you always wanna go with a dark color and not a light. That goes for anything. That goes for tights, ladies, anything of that nature. You always wanna go with dark versus light. And so she does that, and then it's going to be time to style, do my edges, and all the final touches to get this wig looking nice, y'all.
so I started getting into the whole wig thing probably around this summer. I was buying like so many wigs because I just got tired of doing my hair. I got tired of sew-ins because I hate the fact that you cannot get to your scalp when it itches properly. So I was like, let me back up on these wigs so that I can just be a different person every day. From here, she's starting to form my edges. Edges is like my favorite thing about wigs. I like mine to look very natural. I don't like them little swoopy swoopy swoop things they be doing. Like the little bring the edges out swoop swoop type thing. It's more so just good little natural swoop. So what she does is she forms the edges. She swoops them. And then she puts the little um, wrap on it to wrap it. And then from there, she takes it off. And then she brushes my edges out to make them look very natural and I really, really like that. As you can see, the wig is starting to form and I'm so excited! I've been dying to wear a curly wig. I see them all the time and I'm so used to wearing body wave or straight. This is my first curly wig and it's just, it's just giving me life. So if you want me to be honest with you guys, I think I have PTSD from the hot comb. Back in the day, y'all know how that was. Me and mama straightened your hair before picture day. And the hot comb used to touch that forehead. It used to be the struggle. And when I tell you I still flinch till this day, to this day, I still flinch. But you know, you gotta put the flatty on in order for it to be flat. Like it just, it, it just has to happen. You just gotta be, you just gotta be ready. <laughs>
and this is the final look of the hair and I really really like it it really made me feel like I was just brand new like I was just brand new <laughs> and that concludes the end of this quick glueless install video be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll be back with another video soon